An Atlanta gym bans police officers from working out. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about a breaking news story, something that just came out in the last couple days. It's about a gym in Atlanta that does not allow police officers to become members or to work out. Before I get into this topic, if you have a question or comment, check out the link below. You can submit your questions, the best questions I turn into videos just like this. And if you leave a comment and I pin your comment, you will get a free t-shirt from TigerFitness.com. So I'm going to read you the story. This is from the Toronto Sun, and it says Atlanta's EAV Barbell Club, the EAV Barbell Club, for those of you that are curious. Now, before I get into this, you can check out the full link to this story below at TigerFitness.com. You can read the full story below at TigerFitness.com, but this is the original story from the Atlanta, or excuse me, from the Toronto Sun. It says Atlanta's EAV Barbell Club gym bans police officers and the military from joining. So it banned police officers and the military. And if you want to uh, check out these guys on Instagram or social media, you can let them know what you think. Here's a story. An Atlanta gym owner has banned police officers and military members from working out at his facility. Jim Chambers, that is the gym owner put up a sign on the door of EAV Barbell Club that used an expletive to announce that police officers weren't welcome there. I don't know what expletive it was, if it was F the police or whatever. That's most likely what it was. Um, Chambers tells WXIA-TV that his gym has had an explicitly stated no-cop policy since it opened. He says active members of the military aren't also aren't eligible for membership. The Atlanta Police Department tells the station that the policy wouldn't prevent them from responding to an emergency at the gym. Of course not. So what that's saying is police officers aren't welcome there, military aren't welcome there, but if something happens like an emergency, like a fight, then the police officers are welcome there. Of course, of course, hypocrite. Uh, the Atlanta uh, Chamber says he's taken the sign down due to its vulgarity, but plans to replace it with a clean version. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Instead of saying, fuck the police, he's going to put up something that's, maybe he'll put up a flower on there or a peace sign or whatever saying, I, I politely say no police or military welcome here. He told the station that, poli that people who work out there are generally minorities who are, who are uncomfortable with law enforcement. All right, so again, that's a story. You can check out the link to the story below at Tiger Fitness. We have a full write-up on the details if you want to pass it along. Uh, let me know what you think about this story in the comments section below. Again, if I pin your comment, you'll win a free T-shirt from TigerFitness.com. And I would encourage you guys, I'm going to try to find the social media information for this Barbell Club. And if I can find it, I'm going to drop that below as well. I encourage you to head over to, head over to their social media and let them know what you think. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I, I appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.